in construction, we have been always shying away from technology. Data today is the talk of the world because once you have solid data, you are able to increase efficiency, kitchen pots, and that is a full room that is produced in our factory. We take it and we plug it in place at site. Hello and welcome to Masters of Change. Today, I sit down with Ihab Ramlawi, Managing Director and Co-Founder of DuPots, to discuss innovations in construction industry. Ihab, it's a pleasure to have a conversation with you. It's a pleasure having you here, for sure. So let's start the discussion by setting the scene. Can you share more insights about the origin story of DuPots? What was the market need that you have identified? DuPod is a modular construction solution provider and DuPod focus is mainly on the product side of modular construction. Construction usually uh, is about 9 to 10% of the construction industry in, in any economy. And in size, that's tremendous if you consider the GDPs of the countries. Construction have been lagging in terms of technology development throughout the years. And the only way we do construction is, you know, the traditional way. And lately, there has been a lot of advancement toward technology, which has empowered uh, solutions like modular construction to perform better in, the, in, the, in term of productivity and enhancement in sustainability. And this is why there is a huge demand to modular construction worldwide. DuPod idea came from that perspective and DuPod is here to maximize on enhancing the productivity and sustainability. And today we are laying down a foundation to scale DuPod because the demand is high. So tell me, what is it exactly that DuPod does? DuPod, as I said, it's a modular solution provider, but our focus is on the product side. And when we say products, some of the modular construction providers, they go for the full building, they break it down into units, and then they assemble it at site. There's a high level of complexity that involves that, and it requires you to operate as a contractor. When I placed the idea in DuPod, the idea was we want to be on the product side because we want to attract much bigger market and we want to work with contractors and not become a contractor. I've spent the most part of my life as a contractor. But the interesting side about DuPod is that it's operating as an industrialized construction solution provider. And that bring, brings in the manufacturing aspect and makes it much more interesting. Today, we are providing solutions like bathroom pods, kitchen pods, and that is a full room that is produced in our factory. We take it and we plug it in place at site. Uh, and that, that is uh, eliminating huge amount of requirement for manpower, resources, and of course, enhancing the sustainability of the projects. This is why it, uh, it is having a lot of tractions worldwide. So I imagine this uh, like a very different setup on the construction grounds, almost like a highly complex Lego game where a crane arrives and plugs in the pod. I assume it's a lot more intricate and complex than that. How did you go about refining the design and the production of the pod? It, the level of complexity comes from the coordination and collaboration. Uh, if you are producing a product in a different environment, because by definition, modular construction is off-site construction, which means all the construction is happening in a factory environment. To do that, we have to collaborate, coordinate with the stakeholders, the contractors, the consultants, or whoever working at site. And to do that, we have to integrate technology. And in, by, by that, we have solutions such as BIM, uh, other softwares that we are using where we are working with all stakeholders in, in the cloud and coordinating the products in 3D, how does it fit, 
and does it clash with anything that has to do with the building environment. Technology made it possible to happen nowadays, and that is why modular construction, utilizing technology, will gear more power as we move forward and as technology develops in the future. And this is why our focus has been always to reinforce engineering and technology. And that was part of the vision since the establishment of people. So you touch on a very important element, technology, right? It's changing absolutely every single industry. What role do you see technology playing in construction now? And how do you think it's going to change in the future? Oh, it's a huge role. Technology has been integrated with all the industries, with manufacturing, with pharmaceutical. We have seen a lot of advancement in manufacturing, in logistics, in, in the pharmaceutical, uh, hospitality, you can name it. And in, in construction, we have been always shying away from technology. Lately, because of the drive of the governments towards construction and the shortage of the manpower that is happening and the need for the mass, all the, all the innovation has been going towards uh, investing in technology. And a lot of solution that came to the picture made it possible for construction to utilize it. What was happening is basically that there was a gap between the technology provider and the construction site because there was a resistance in, in accepting technology. It was costly, it requires different level of resources, and, and the technology advancement that happened, it's still expensive, but it's less, uh, it's much more uh, friendly in terms of construction. Now technology is understanding the requirement of construction. In our world, when it comes to modular construction, we work in a manufacturing mentality. And when we work in a manufacturing mentality, it is possible for us to implement technology. What we have done is basically we bridged manufacturing and construction. And, and by doing that, we made it possible for implementation of technology in the factory. And we have provided many solutions. Today, we're integrating the latest ERP solution. Uh, we are also having an end-to-end -end integration, vertical and horizontal, uh, speaking the same language, making it possible for the future to implement IoT and AI. And data today is the talk of the world, because once you have solid data, you are able to increase efficiency and achieve more and more. So that's one thing that I'm really hearing from you, that modular technology carries the promise of bringing a lot more sustainability and efficiency into the construction world. Can you elaborate on that? Sustainability, there's no doubt about it today. We just launched the biggest event when it comes to sustainability in the UAE over here. It is obvious that sustainability and lowering the carbon consumption is on the agenda of every country worldwide, because today we have to reduce pollution and it is a must that we have to do. By definition, construction is one of the largest producer of wastes worldwide. What modular construction is doing today by, by taking that part of construction off-site is that we are eliminating all of this disruption from site, less manpower, less logistics at site, and less waste. And in addition to this, we are able to control the, 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 the displacement of material, we are able to control our waste uh, consumption, and we are also enhancing our productivity and lowering the requirement of manpower in the factory environment. And by that, we are hitting all the right points to, you know, towards the, the vision placed and enhancing sustainability. So, Eha, you work a, with a range of partners in hospitality industry. Can you tell us more how do pods are used uh, specifically in hotels industry? Bathrooms and wet areas is about 5 to 10% of the construction of any project. And by definition, uh, that, that is a small in size, but what brings in uh, a lot of snag list in the handing over of the project, because it's such a complicated place that is very, very small and congested with activities. When you take that activity and you do it off-site, you're able to enhance the productivity, you're able to enhance the quality of the product itself. 
And by doing that, we are actually delivering on time a product that fits very well. So it's a no-brainer for hospitality sector to, to, to implement modular construction. 90% of the work that DuPod is doing today is hospitality projects between UAE and KSA. And most of these projects are five star and plus. So, the, so that's why we see a lot of growth towards hospitality and we want to utilize that to the growth of DuPod in the future. As you know, the series is titled Masters of Change. What do you see the next wave of change being and how are you planning to surf it? The focus is mainly towards innovation and technology. We have been always putting an eye towards that, investing heavily in terms of technology. Although that we have started five years back, a lot of investment have been placed towards technology and reinforcing the engineering uh, side of DuPont. We are very, very proud to be among the elite providers in the, in the region with the strongest engineering capacity. And, and we are proud also that we have just laid down the foundation in terms of innovation and technology integration within the factory because we have passed the startup stage and today we're talking about growth and scalability. Like I said in the beginning, modular construction is growing fundamentally and there is a huge demand. The shortage is in the know-how. And once we are at that level, the more you can scale the business, the more you can make the business scalable, is the more you are able to attract uh, you know, more growth and capture uh, you know, success and we see DuPod growing to various countries soon, inshallah. Wonderful. Thank you very much for shining more light on innovations in construction industry. Good luck with everything. To everyone watching, hope this episode provides you valuable insights that will empower you to master the growth of your business. Visit entrepreneur.com for your daily dose of business news and expert advice. You will find this and all future episodes on Entrepreneur